हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल इकोनॉमिक्स स्टडी पॉइंट बाय जितेंद्र कुमार अंडर दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर डॉन इकोनॉमिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इफ यू कम फर्स्ट टाइम इन ऑन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर अर्ली नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय अपकमिंग वीडियो लेट अस स्टार्ट डॉन इकोनॉमिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी वॉट इज डॉन इकोनॉमिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल टू लर्न एक्चुअली डॉन इकोनॉमिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इज अ बिहेवियरिस्टिक थ्योरी बेस्ड ऑन द बिहेवियर ऑफ पॉलिटिशियन पॉलिटिकल पार्टी एंड सिटीजन वोटर Don had a uh, Don Anthony Don who founded this theory has a stress in force the self assumed principle in his theory self assumed principle in his theory there is a differences between selfiness and self assume principle selfiness selfiness is associated with the maximization of one's own utility function so that other uh, other can can know it whereas self assume principle is associated with the maximization of one's own utility function that other don't know okay this is the major differences between self assume principle and selfiness self uh, under self assume principle an individual gives impression to other party as if he is the bell wisher but at the same time keep the objective of maximizing his gain that other don't know in a democracy country every political party is guided by self assumed principle political party in general and a uh, ruling party in particular try to rule uh, country for longer period that means lengthen lengthen its rules first objective uh, for political party um, <coughs> to get uh, to win the election first uh, length its rule second uh, to be more powerful to be more powerful and third to be more influ and seal by maximizing income and wealth and yeah there are three objective uh, for any political party to win election first uh, <coughs> want to rule longer period of time to be more powerful to be more influential therefore political uh, ruling party especially ruling party follow the policy to win election rather than winning election to follow policy all the political party including the rural, uh, the ruling party try to impress voter at the time of election through their manifesto okay and uh, <clears throat> according to anthony don the ruling party try to maximize vote to win the election this is the basic hypothesis of down economics theory of democracy 
सिटीजन बाय परसुइंग फॉलोइंग सेल्फ एग्ज्यूम प्रिंसिपल सिटीजन वोटर विल सपोर्ट दैट पॉलिटिकल पार्टी विच दे फिल विल फॉलो पॉलिसी इन लाइन विद देयर प्रिफरेंस ओके and public policy in down economic theory of democracy is a refer to budgetary policy that is the expenditure policy and the taxation policy budgetary policy has two component first expenditure the expenditure policy and second one first one is ex पेंडिचर पॉलिसी सेकेंड वन इज ए टैक्सेशन पॉलिसी पॉलिसी द रूलिंग पार्टी विल फॉलो बजेटरी पॉलिसी इन सच बे मार्जिनल वोटर गेन ड्यू टू द एक्सपेंडिचर पॉलिसी मार्जिनल वोटर गेन due to expenditure policy voters gained will be equal to marginal voter lost due to taxation policy marginal voter lost due to uh, taxation policy it is a very difficult to identify the point where the marginal voter gain uh, due to expenditure policy is uh, equal to marginal voter lost due to taxation policy okay in a democracy country maximization of vote is uh, not uh, the necessary and the sufficient condition for winning the election now take example say if there is a direct democracy where ruling party has secure secure majority vote to continue its rule in the two party system of democracy country in which one party has a secure 50% plus one vote in order to form government in the multi, in the multi party system of democracy country uh, uh, a a political party can form government even um, even though securing less than 50% uh, 50% vote but it depend upon the rule okay in a country like india where requirement uh, in order to form government it is required to have a more than 50% vote and no single party can fulfill this condition for forming government then it has make a collusion with the, some other like mandated party to so it has a confer uh, the condition of uh, more than 50% vote for formation for formation of government thus uh, maximization is a vote is a not a necessary and sufficient condition for forming a uh, government okay but uh, the in the representative by democracy government where the maximization of vote doesn't determine but majority number of elected member can decide which political party will form a government okay and i will explain it through a table okay 
and assume there are two political party x and y there are seven constituency and in each each quality a constituency there are seven voter okay and voter are being uniformly distributed across the all the seven constituency okay now i am going to draw a table to prove maximization is uh, maximization of vote is uh, not the necessary and sufficient condition for for uh, formation of the government country like india there are two political party x and y there are seven constituency and in each constituency there are seven voter x x y y y y x x x x x y y y y x x x x y please watch this table carefully okay constituency number 1 political party x b okay in in because he is a getting four vote and there are party y is a getting only three vote likewise constituency number 2 3 4 political party x are uh, is winning election but 5 6 7 <laughs> political party y winning the election you can see political party x get uh, 16 vote and y get 33 vote but political party y cannot form the government okay in formation of government i have already told you maximization is uh, maximization of vote is a not necessary and sufficient condition like political party x get 16 vote bin four out of the seven constituency number 1 2 3 4 and there as political party y get 33 vote bin only 3 out of the seven constituency 5 6 7 but cannot form the government because the maximum majority number of elected representative member coming from the political party x that's the why political party x can form government but why uh, can't form government because Uh, lesser number of elected member is a uh, coming from the political party y and it is a uh, enough to prove maximization of vote is uh, not a necessary and sufficient condition for formation of the government and i hope everybody got uh, the thing i have uh, initiate under this video if uh, if uh, <coughs> if you feel any shortcoming in this video it is uh, please give me 
your feedback so that i uh, will be able to improve um, my video in the day to come and take care and thanks for watching my video till end jai hind